This is a story of why dating bipolar girls is not a good idea, and how the Domino's Pizza Tracker saved my life. I have always been on the fence when it comes to Pizza Hut versus Domino's. I don't eat enough pizza from either to really have a concrete answer of which one makes a better pie. I can tell you one solid truth. As my last relationship ended and the lies, scandals, and deceptions came out, after all was said and done, my psycho ex-girlfriend did teach me one very important thing. Note to self, always choose Domino's over Pizza Hut. I had been having trouble with my now ex-girlfriend for quite a while. I won't go into details, but let's just say she went crazy. I thought simple, I'll just break it off. Wrong. One Friday night around 8pm after a long week of work and incessant phone calls, psychotic voicemails from the unbalanced ex, I decided I was going to stay in, which one any weekend night is abnormal for me. Usually on weekend nights that I am in, I usually am cool with a movie, a six pack and a pizza. I had been ordering from Pizza Hut the last few times, but after a constant bombardment with Domino's, we've changed our shit. I swear we're awesome now. Ad campaign, I decided to give it a shot. Around 8pm, I went online to order my pizza. I built a modest two-topping medium pizza and placed my order. You have to love how far we have come in the delivery pizza world. Immediately afterwards, I was introduced to the piece of a software that would save my neck. The Pizza Tracker. Pizza Tracker? F yeah! The Pizza Tracker. If you don't know what the Pizza Tracker is, then get your ass online right now and order a pizza from Domino's. It's the equivalent of a loading bar on a web browser, except at the end of the loading you get a delicious pizza. This is where the night got interesting. I am on my couch, one eye on Parks and Rec, the other on the pizza tracker displayed on my laptop that joined me on the couch. We had just entered stage two, prep. For a split second, I thought, whoa, that was fast. I put my order in 10 minutes ago and pizza tracker says it's still in stage two. By the end of my thought, the door swung open. Guess who? Yep, it was my psychotic ex. Knife in hand, she starts threatening to do some pretty awful things. I try to stand up, she freaks. I stay on the couch and attempt to calm her down. She goes into a hysterical rant about us getting back together. Yeah, right, and I glance at the pizza tracker. Stage three, bake. Juan is putting your order in the oven. She goes on while all I can think is, go Juan, go! Get that shit in the oven! I try to calm her down. I stand up and she freaks out and tells me, sit the fuck down! She continues on her violent outburst and I tell her we can work things out, hoping to get her to calm down. It's no use. I decide I need to try and get to my phone. I inconspicuously try to look for my cell phone. Damn it! I left it in my room. I am screwed. I am dead. The pizza man will get blamed for this. Oh, the poor pizza boy will be wrongfully blamed and get life in prison for what this unstable bitch is going to do to me. Stage four, box. Fuck yeah! They're boxing up my pizza! Get your ass over here! She continues on for another five minutes, trying to make eye contact, glancing at the pizza tracker every second she looks away. Stage five, delivery! Alejandro is delivering your pizza. Godspeed, Alejandro! My life and your freedom rely on this! Knowing that the Alejandro is on the way, I try and just keep her talking, but the more she talks, the more enraged she gets. I try to interrupt, but that just makes things worse. It's been 10 minutes. Alejandro should be here anytime. 
She continues, she is yelling at the top of her lungs about the things we could have been. I am still banking that Alejandro will be here any second and save the day. Ten more minutes go by. Alejandro, get your tail in gear! She is officially freaking the fuck out. She puts the knife up to her wrist and then takes it away. I am panicking. Where the fuck is Alejandro? Pizza Tracker tells me we're still in stage 5. Fuck you, Pizza Tracker. You've been in stage 5 for 25 minutes. I will never order from Domino's again. After this, thoughts, I immediately think to myself, I will be dead. So I will probably never order another pizza again. Right then, the cops come in. At gunpoint, they calm her down and obtain the knife. Alejandro had shown up to the door wide open and saw Psycho with the knife and went back to his 98 Honda Accord and called the cops. Domino's Pizza literally saved my tail. They should change the name from the Pizza Tracker to the Savior Tracker. Alejandro is the true definition of a hero. In a way, Alejandro is the fifth Ninja Turtle. He showed up, accessed the situation, didn't panic, and saved my ass from the bad guys. Oh yeah, and he brought a fucking excellent pizza too.